So for Unboxing Tuesday, Transformers again. Why? Because just it's, it's what I got for today. What? I just... Okay, anyways. Uh, Autobot, Springer, uh, again from Transformers Generations. The Thrilling 30 2014 Transformers. Um, I don't know if they're trying to say 30th anniversary because of the ID. I mean, it just says 30 2014. They really should put a CH there. 30th, maybe anniversary. If it is anniversary, I... I don't know, but anyways, uh, the lighting is weird because it's coming from my phone, by the way, because my lights are still burned out. So, yeah, uh, see if I can get good angles that don't glare with the box, which I like that it's a box, unlike last week's video where it was like a blister pack. There we got the transformer sign, you got him right there. Uh, top the back with all this information autos bleh. autobot springer was built to be a tough guy everything about him from his nickel plated blaster cannon to his bad boy attitude is calculated to communicate exactly what he wants well exactly what he wants it to sorry i paused i don't know why uh that he's a no holds no holds bared bard uh take no prisoners kind of guy he prefers to fight alone, trusting his skills and luck to get him out of tight spots, rather than relying on his fellow warriors. After all, other Autobots fail. Autobot Springer never does. Wow, that's kind of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. That kind of makes him sound a little bit like a jerk, but I, I, I wouldn't know. Uh, there's the little meter thing, intelligence, rank, and all that stuff. I guess it equals out to a 7. Uh, the IDW symbol right there. And the other toy in this line, which I guess there's only one other one, uh, for this one anyway, which is Blitzwing, which they had when I got this guy, but this was like the best condition box at the store, so I went for him. Um, again, sorry for the weird glare, it's coming from my phone. But yeah, let's open this and see if I can transform this guy, because he's got three transformations. He's already transformed to his, uh, you know, I guess fighting mode. I, I don't. I don't know what you call it. Uh, it's it's been a while. But let's see. How do I open this? Ah, yes, tape. And I didn't bring my scissors. So let's hope this works. Easy. And one more. Kind of reminds me of the Digivice box that I have. If you haven't seen that video, there's a. I think I did an unboxing of it because I actually have everything for it. In the video I didn't have the instructions, but I got the instructions, so now it is like 100% complete, so that's cool. Uh, another piece of tape right here. So that's one, and uh, how do I do this? So just, yeah, there we go. I'll just fold that back a little bit. Okay, so before I get to him, let's look at the giant freaking instructions. Oh, that's actually a really cool picture. Uh, too bad it doesn't, it would be cool if like it was a one-sided poster right there. But it has the instructions on the same side, so. Yeah, but that would have been awesome. I mean, that is an awesome looking picture right there. If you just fold it, I guess, right? That's a pretty badass picture. Um, so I think instead of embarrassing myself, like I usually do trying to transform these things, uh, I'm gonna do it off camera and just edit those parts in because I don't wanna sit here and make a 20 minute video of me trying to figure out how to freaking transform him. Because if you've seen any of my other Transformers videos, Beast Wars videos, man, it goes good because I, I suck at figuring things out uh, on the spot like that on camera. Let's just take him out of the box. And, uh, yeah, I, I still find it weird that they use string. Uh, I grew up with plastic. I don't know what these strings are made of. Maybe it's like some environmentally, uh, dissolving over time type of string. That would be cool, you know. Makes sense if they use that because usually this stuff ends up in the trash. Though, you should be recycling it because it is cardboard unless you're one of those people who collects the packages. Which, uh, then in that case, it's gonna end up in your, I guess, wherever you put the boxes. That 
I might actually keep this box because it is a box and that's what I like about the boxes is that you know you can always like you need to sell something later on in the future you never know uh, always helps the value if it is complete anyways uh, this retailed at Walmart for I believe 20 23 bucks uh, it's about eight bucks more than the uh, regular line of Transformers the other ones the small ones in the blister bags no comic book which is a little bit disappointing uh, it would have been cool if they fit like a mini comic in there but obviously not uh, and yeah uh, how about we just cut to me having this open right now okay so there he is out of the package uh, does stand on his own two feet not so great I think it's the glass surface I have here eventually I'll get one of those little spinny things all the other guys have you know the oh yeah you can look around circle those things eventually when I make an Ikea run I'll be good a while like in Glendale and I'm not in Glendale so uh yeah let's see if I can focus in on his face here so I like how his face looks that's one reason why I chose to get him above uh the other one whose name I am now blinking on uh he looks nice I will say that um the plastic I mean, it's it's toy plastic. Would you can't really expect too much, you know, in the quality department, but it's not horrible, especially for the price. Uh, he looks awesome. I love the color green on him. And uh, let's see, his legs move like that. So you got one, two, knees. His legs a little bit right here, and that's like that. But I'm pretty sure that's because it transforms. So. We got some good movement on his feet, his arms up and down, uh, back and forward a little bit, rotating, and his fists a little bit, so that's cool, and his head up, down, left, right. Does he go all the way around? Yes, he does. Alright, so, uh, comes with a little sword, his little gun, and I am going to attempt to transform him now. But not on camera because it's just gonna take too long. If I like open right now, he's gonna fall over. See, yeah, fall over. Okay, be right back. Okay, so it's not the best transformation. I couldn't get it perfect, perfect, but it is pretty close. The wheels do turn. The gun moves around. I believe they shoot out though. Yeah, okay. These ones actually shoot out more or less better than the uh, star screen from last time because I would push the thing and nothing would fly out. Um. The sword is somehow supposed to go in here and sit there. I guess that's how, but it's not the greatest place for it to be honest, but uh, the legs do this crazy stuff and make the side here, which you can kind of make out. Sorry about the washed colors again. Uh, that's better. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks cool like this. I, like I said, I couldn't get it perfect like right here with the... Uh, I couldn't get the arms all the way forward enough for the windshields to like hit there perfectly. But I mean, it looks pretty cool. Not the mode I'm going to leave it in. I'm probably just going to leave it in his uh, original form we saw earlier. Just like a little bit of black paint coming through on the yellow there. I don't think you can see it on camera. It's not that big of a deal, but it does kind of suck. Um, these weird things, I guess, are the uh, spoiler or whatever. And uh, yeah, he looks... Looks alright actually, he doesn't look that bad like that, but there's one more transformation to be had before we can conclude this little unboxing slash mini review thing I guess. And that is this helicopter mode, which, well, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get it perfect. I couldn't figure out the leg part since they're bent like a really weird way. They're supposed to be bent, uh, like with the knees going up. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Never mind. I got it. Uh, so, really, the only thing I couldn't figure out is how you mount this gun down here. Because it's supposed to be able to go down here, but there's nothing for it to really attach to. Um, yeah, either way, you don't even need the gun because he has landing gear. I can get it out right there. So, there you go. Uh, 
helicopter mode. So that's pretty much my review on Springer. Uh, Want to take a closer look really quick. It does look pretty cool in helicopter mode. The sword is, by the way, the propeller, which does spin. Uh, like I said, the only thing I couldn't figure out is how the gun is supposed to go down here. It's like in the pictures and stuff, and it just shows, oh, just put it in here, but it doesn't tell you how. But, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. But I think I'm going to stick with his other mode, his first mode that we saw earlier. And, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, mini unboxing partial review thing uh yeah who knows what i'll be doing next week but hopefully it'll be awesome and yeah if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to comment go ahead and comment if you want to subscribe that'd be awesome too uh i know not the best unboxing but this is a not so awesome review and that's how we do things and with that i will see you later uh, goodbye and thanks for watching